guys welcome back to another video and today i'm going to be ranking every single mac and miller album i've done this with kanye so consider checking that video out i've also done a bunch of rankings for artist songs but um like i said artists with bigger discographies i'll just do ranking albums and also before we get into this just please consider subscribing um i'm gonna try and hit 300 subscribers by the end of april so um please consider subscribing if you enjoy the videos and anyway let's get right into it so Mac has 11 uh, albums and mixtapes on Spotify, so those are the ones I've ranked here. And just getting right into it, at number 11, I have Blue Slide Park. Um, I think it's pretty easily his worst album. There's some good moments on it, but there's like so many weak songs, and honestly, there's there's probably more skips than there is like good songs on this album, and for that reason, it's at the bottom. And starting at number 10 here, I just want to say from this point on, 10 to 1, every album is at least a 7 out of 10 or better. Obviously, the top are much better than 7 out of 10, but I just want to say every project from here on out, I like a lot. So getting into number 10, though, we have Best Day Ever. Uh, this is the mixtape that actually got me into Mac Miller. Uh, so it kind of hurts to have it this low, but it's like revisiting it like all these years later, it's like... There's a lot of songs that are kind of corny and haven't aged the best, but there's still some songs on here that I can go back to and enjoy listening to. It just compared to his other projects, it's got to be here at number 10. At number nine, I have I Love Life, Thank You. Um, some songs that aren't incredibly strong on here, but there's also uh, quite a bit of good songs, so it kind of hurts to have it this low as well, but I do think uh, it's definitely better than best day ever just i don't know he's got so many good projects this is actually very tough to rank but number eight i have the divine feminine uh, this is his follow-up to good am and i don't think it's bad at all being down here at eight it's just like a 10 song album i just like there's a couple songs that aren't like that strong you know like they're not necessarily like skips but they're also not great or things i'm going to come back to and I think at a 10 song album, you expect a little bit of a higher shooting percentage, you know, like maybe one song that's like, eh, but um, moving on, we have at number seven, Macadelic. There's a few songs on here that are weak for sure, um, but it's a 17 song mixtape, so you're going to probably get a couple misses, but I think the songs that are good on this project are really good. It's just the weak points kind of bring it down a bit. And number six, I have Good AM. I think this is where Mac kind of like, he caught a stride. His music really matured here with this album and everything from beyond this was like so much different from his old music. And I don't like hate his old music by any means. I love a lot of it, but it went from like, you know, frat party music into like this truly like beautiful music, just a complete 180. And um, yeah, Good AM is definitely one of his best for sure but getting into the top five here at number five i have kids so going in the opposite direction back to one of his oldest it's his first project on streaming platforms and i mean it's miles ahead if you've listened to any of his mixtapes from prior to kids this like they don't even compare it's so so much better it's on a completely different level um and again there's some songs that are kind of like eh but I mean, there's also a lot of extremely high points and songs that I'll probably be listening to forever. At number four, I have Watching Movies with the Sound Off. Uh, it's a bit of a longer album at 19 songs and over an hour in length, uh, but it's ex extremely good and it holds your attention throughout the listen. There's not really like a definite bad song I could point to on this record, but there is some songs that aren't like amazing you know on that top level which a 19 song project you're not going to expect every single one to be the greatest song you've ever heard but uh, there is a few weak points so it comes down here to number four and starting the top three here at number three i have faces uh, this is his best mixtape in my opinion it's a very long project at 25 songs and it runs at about 90 minutes um but i mean it's a it's a mixtape so like the length it's not a huge deal to be honest but um again on this one there's not really a song i point to and say it's bad there's a lot of bangers and this could be the number one best project in many other artist discographies i would say 
it just i believe the next two to come are absolutely extraordinary albums and i couldn't put this one above them so i'm sure obviously you guys know what the top two are but getting into number two i have circles i think this is easily one of the best posthumous albums of all time um it was not like a rushed um money grab that was kind of just thrown together with features like every song is great and it feels complete and you know it's it's kind of tough to listen to sometimes you know uh knowing about mac and the struggles he is going through but still great album and number one another great album swimming um i mean every song is amazing on this 2009 is possibly his best song ever it's one of my favorites of all time and i mean yeah so i think seeing swimming it would be so interesting to see where he would have gone beyond this you know but obviously we won't get to see that but anyway that's all i've got for this so comment um your opinions on the ranking what you would change around uh leave a comment on some artists you would like to see me rank in the future and leave a like subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one